Hey guys, I got McDonald's today. It's been quite some time. Sweet and sour. I should have asked for a large fry, but I asked for a medium iced coffee, so I guess they just gave me a medium. Quarter pounder with cheese. Yum. 10 piece chicken nugget. I really need to get a tray. Caramelized coffee taste test. Last time I got breakfast here, I got iced coffee with cream and sugar, and that was actually really good. I wish I would have got that. All right, I need a bite of this. It's been so freaking long. Yum. Mmm. So you might have some rain ASMR in the background. The lighting might be weird. Ah! I hope you guys saw that. Dude, did you see that bird that flew to my window? Freaking pigeons. Dude, they saw my food. That was so effing scary. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I do not like birds. Mm -mm. Yum. Mm. So, I've been sick pretty much since being home from Mexico. I think the food there. made my stomach hurt so when I first got home I wasn't feeling too well and then I got hit with like a stomach bug like it was not good I was throwing up but a lot of people have said that they got it too for like a day or two but I'm feeling back to normal today finally It's raining really hard. I wanted some buffalo sauce too. Mm. I'm super excited for our Thanksgiving food. We're going to my fiance's mom's house for Thanksgiving. And oh my gosh, does she make the freaking best food. She does. <laughs> I am like... I've never cooked for them. Like my fiance loves the food that I make. But, um, his mom is, like, <clears throat> his mom is very particular 
about what she eats and like who makes her food and stuff. So I feel like kind of intimidated to cook for them. So, <clears throat> excuse me. We just, we're just gonna, and mind you, she doesn't mind cooking like she wants to do it, but we're just gonna Venmo her some money to pitch in for all the food because it is a lot of food. So yeah, I'm excited. Do you guys celebrate Thanksgiving or do anything for Thanksgiving? I don't... I don't necessarily celebrate what Thanksgiving is celebrated for. Like, no. But it's nice to get with family and to like just be thankful for the things happening in your life and the people that you have in your life and stuff a day of thanks is good i think sadly i'm like not really feeling those chicken nuggets I don't know what it is. I haven't had McDonald's in so long. So I know we've talked about um, being friends with the opposite sex before and I got a lot of input. Some of you think it's possible and have friends of the opposite sex that you've had forever and some of you don't think it's possible because one is always bound to catch feelings which that is in my case how it goes feelings not on my side no 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 the thing about me is like if i'm friends with you if you are a guy and i'm friends with you i'm not physically attracted to you at all like no none I'm not interested in you at all um intimately like if I'm your friend that's literally what it is you know what I mean so anyway I legitimately have two friends in the entire world one of which, my best friend, who is a girl, who is a woman, is Swedish. So she lives in Sweden. And the other one is a man, and he lives in California. Those are legit my only, like literally my only friends. The only two people I ever talk to and we don't even speak that often, okay? She's married with a newborn. Well, she's maybe almost six months old. No, she's like four months maybe. And he's just like doing his thing. He has a girlfriend. He's in a healthy relationship. Great. So it was his birthday a couple of days ago. And like, I don't think it's necessary to post anything on Instagram, right? Like, I did not need to wish him a happy birthday on Instagram. I wished him a happy birthday in real life. But, I don't know. I posted on my story a video, like a five second clip of us. Maybe 10 seconds. I don't know. Not that long. Um, his, like, his arms around my shoulders or whatever, and I'm, like, powdering my face. And I just said, happy birthday, friends for life. Okay? So he reposted or whatever, like, on his story. And then I get a text from him, like, an hour later. Saying, hey. My girlfriend's friends are talking to her, saying that it looks like the video of us, it looks like we're in a relationship. 
I'm so not to upset her, I'm deleted it. I'm like, okay. Like, it didn't make me feel good, but like, obviously if, like your, your relationship matters. So obviously don't upset her, take it down. You know what I mean? It's not a good deal. But I did feel some type of way for a second. And I just said, um, like, oh boy, LOL, no problem. Like, take it down. And then I ended up just taking it down because, like, if it is really upsetting to people, why would I have it up? It kind of had me, like, second-guessing myself. Even though... <clears throat> I don't know. I just... I feel like it's ridiculous, yes, but I just took it down anyway. But then I I was just thinking, like, if only they knew how my mind worked and, like, what I actually thought about him, you know what I mean? Because, like, he's a great person, a good friend, successful, respectful, like, he is a good person. But I am 0% attracted to him. Like, actually negative person attracted to him. Like, I'm not attracted to this man in the slightest. Like, whatsoever, not at all. You know what I mean? Never been interested in him other than a friendship. Never. And never would. Like, I just literally am not attracted to him. And so, like, if they knew that, would they... Would they see that post and still think that uh. excuse me i don't know it's just like being an adult and then trying to have relationships with people outside of your uh significant other your partner your spouse whatever you call them is so difficult and for what I hope you guys enjoyed the ASMR. <laughs> I look so old. <sighs> My birthday's on next Saturday. <sighs> oh, I'm old, I'm getting so old. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I might, am I gonna keep this in? I don't know. I know my posting is inconsistent and I keep saying I'm gonna work on it and I am, okay? We are in this together. I'm gonna do it. Next weekend, I have one day off. It's on Saturday. That's my birthday. So if I don't post next week, that's why. I might be able to just post in the middle of the week. But please forgive me. If you do have a TikTok, I am going to go on live for the first time on TikTok on my birthday, Saturday, November 19th. Shoot. I don't know an exact time yet. So if you have TikTok, you can follow me at bellas.bites and then get the info there to go live with me and we can chat. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the ASMR rain sounds. Have a good, fantastic week, and I will see you guys next time.